Okay, so this week it is exactly 40 years ago that ABBA came together to film one of their final music videos. This time it was not done by Lasse Hallström, who usually did their videos, but by two filmmakers that were suggested to Björn by his then wife Lena, who had worked with the directors before. And what we got was a music video very fitting to the complexities of that very special song. In my opinion, the day before you came is one of ABBA's most sophisticated videos, and we only see them together in one scene. The rest focused on Agneta, who was acting alongside a Swedish actor the same way that she was literally acting the role of that ordinary woman when she recorded the song in the studio. So this video is very cinematic, like a short film, and so we have several scenes and locations in which the story unfolds. A railway station, the inside of a train, the surroundings of one of Sweden's landmark bridges, as well as a parking area and a cinema. Today we are going to visit those locations and here we are at our first stop, Tumba Station. This is where Agneta stood. It might not be the exact spot, but I'm sure it must have been this side of the platform. She was looking in that direction and saw that man entering the platform. In the video, you can recognize this forest of trees to the left side when the train leaves. We then go on a journey capturing one of Stockholm's most iconic railway bridges on film. This bridge was built more than a hundred years ago in the 1920s and opened in 1929. At that time it was the longest bridge in Sweden with 753 meters. It looks like a classical Roman aqueduct which were built in Rome to bring water from outside into the cities and towns. This bridge was declared a historical landmark. Now, in fact, you can see that red bridge in front of it, which was built just a few years ago. This is actually where that train was going before, so I cheated a little bit for the sake of illusion. The next stop in the video is a parking area in which Agneta and her mysterious lover are walking together. This was shot in the car park at Stockholm's Arlanda Airport. So next time you go there, try to look out for Agneta and that guy. And finally, all four members come together one after the other inside the auditorium of Stockholm's China Theatre. This is also where ABBA the movie premiered in 1977. And in 1982 ABBA came here together to film one of their final videos. It was not the last time they got together for a while, but it is such a poignant scene. All four members are spread across the space, quite similar to the artwork for the visitors. Agneta is the only one still singing, Björn and Frida are sitting there, lifeless, without looking at her, without looking at each other. Benny is the only one who takes a look at Agneta to listen, but he's in the far distance of the cinema. 
And finally, the light is fading out, again very similar to how Agnetta recorded the song in the studio, with the lights down. There was also a photo session in that theater, and they also had some photographs taken in front of a fresco, which you can find at the entrance area of the China Theater. Now, as much as this location was basically the end for ABBA, coincidentally or not, there is not one, but two locations, just to the left and right of the cinema, where ABBA reunited in the following decades. What you see here, to the right side of the building, are in fact ABBA's former headquarters, the Polar Music Office. Now, some of you might remember from last time that we were already at the Polar Music Office. That was in Baldesgotan. Now we are in Hamgotan to where they moved their office in November 1981. There is a photograph which was taken outside of the building and one of Agneta and Frida inside the building from 1982. Benny had his studio in the attic. You can recognize the round windows in the background. And more importantly, in 1986, Abba reunited in these offices to perform a song for their manager, Stig Anderson. For 30 years, this was the final time that all four members were seen together, standing next to each other in public. We really thought it would be the final thing we would ever see and hear of them. Until January 2016, almost to the date 30 years afterwards, when they showed themselves together on stage for the opening of Mamma Mia! The Party. And that was just the beginning. Only five months later, in June 2016, they reunited again on stage to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Björn and Benny's friendship. And that party, my dear friends, took place right next to the China Theatre, to the left side, in the restaurant Berns. And this time, Agneta and Frida performed together and they sang The Way Old Friends Do, dedicated to Björn and Benny. This is where they came together once again, for the love of music, 34 years after they shot the music video in that cinema for The Day Before You Came, and 30 years after they performed in their office across the street. So, whenever you are in this area, make sure to dedicate some time for these locations. It's quite amazing that it is all next to each other and quite historic within Abba's very own story. That moment when Agneta and Frida bravely decided to perform one of Abba's songs for Björn and Benny was so crucial. They never talked about this, but I am absolutely sure this was the moment when Björn and Benny realized we should do something again. Only a few months later, we got the first announcement for a brand new Abba project by all four members, which would evolve into Abba Voyage. Today, we have a new album, a new concert residency, a new life to Abba. And it all started here, where they basically left off in 1982, and where they returned over the decades to pick up the pieces. Quite magical. I hope you enjoyed this location tour. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the music video and all of these locations. Thank you so much for watching especially if you're still here that late in the video. Alright, until then, hey though!